Hi everyone. This is, this is an example of a compound inequality, which, we're, which we'll be covering very soon in class, but I wanted to go ahead and make a video on it. So, we have two inequalities here joined by the English word or. That makes it a compound inequality, just like a compound sentence in an English class. So what we're going to do first is solve these inequalities individually, and then we're going to think about the word or, what it means to find the solution of this compound inequality as a whole. So, starting over here to the left, I want to solve the inequality. I'll subtract 3 from both sides. So I have negative 2x is greater than or equal to 6. Now, if I divide by negative 2 on both sides, I get x is less than or equal to negative 3. Remember that the inequality symbol changed signs because I divided by a negative number. So now let's go to the inequality on the right. First, I want to add 5 to both sides. So I have x over 2 is greater than 4. Now if I multiply by 2 on both sides, I get x is greater than 8. It's a good idea to keep track of this or word because it's going to be important in a minute. So we've solved each one of the inequalities individually. Now we have to think about what the solution looks like when we consider the compound inequality as a whole. So what we want to do first is imagine the individual solution sets on a number line. Now I'm going to be lazy and just write the number 0, the number negative 3, and the number 8. I don't want to make marks for everything else. So, in blue, let's graph the solution for x is less than or equal to negative 3. So I'm going to put a solid dot above negative 3 because it says less than or equal to. And I'm going to draw an arrow to the left because we want all the numbers that are less than negative 3. Now in green, let's graph the solution of x is greater than 8. So I go to the number 8, I put an open circle because I don't actually include the number 8, I simply want the numbers that are greater than 8. So I'll draw an arrow to the right. Now let's think about the English word or. What we would like to do is think about any number that satisfies the first inequality or that satisfies the second inequality. So think to yourself, do we want these numbers in blue? Yes, we do, because they satisfy the first inequality. Then ask yourself, do I want the numbers that are in green? Yes, because they satisfy the second inequality. So I want all of the numbers that are labeled in blue and all of the numbers that are labeled in green, because that's what the word or means. So if I graph the solution set of the compound inequality as a whole, it's going to look very familiar. It's just going to be the two solution sets that we already had put together. And that's how you solve a compound inequality when we combine two inequalities with the word or. The next video, we'll combine inequalities with the word and.